All right? Something called the Huff transform. All right? What the Huff transform will do is, we'll find all the straight lines. If you take an image like this, it will probably find a whole lot of lines all over the place, right? So typically you may say, give me 10 longest lines or 20 longest lines, right? Then you can go through the half lines and then figure out the ones that you want, all right? I will let you guys read on this. if you have, um, anybody seen this before? I know some of you took the computer vision class. Have, have you heard of this? Yes, no, maybe? All right. But I'm going to use I'm going to use a simple right, line regression, all right? So if this is my if this is my column, all right, and this is my row, all right. This line okay, I can write this line as column C equals um, alpha R. The pyramid. So I'm going to write the C as a function of R, right? And I'm going to draw a central line. I'm just going to go only at the left plane, right? And then we'll write the code to do the right plane also, right? So, so find the line. So if so if CK if CK RK, all right, uh, the points if CK RK are the points, all right, and I want to find the curve. find the curve C equals alpha plus beta R, all right? The way you do that is that you do sigma C K, so you have two equations, this is from what, IMSC, all right? Pardon? You probably saw that in IMSC 317, we say that sigma CK equals alpha times sigma RK plus sigma beta and beta times sigma 1. All right? And the second equation is sigma, uh, let's see, I want to do sigma CKRK equals alpha time sigma RK square plus beta times sigma RK. Is that clear I mean? So those are the two equations I need to solve. It's two equations and two unknowns. So let me call S0, S sigma 1, S1, 
1 is sigma r, s2 is sigma r squared. All right. Uh, then C times R, B2 is sigma C. All right. Then the equation is sigma one, B1 one equals. R S2 alpha S2 plus beta S1 B2 equals what? Alpha S1 plus beta S0 Alright, so these are two equations I need to solve all right, and then to solve this, the easiest is what? Multiply this by S0, multiply this by S1, and subtract. So I'm going to get S0, B1, minus S1, B2, divided by S0, S2 minus S1 squared, and that should be alpha. All right, there's a mistake. Stop here, right? Our two equations are two unknowns. Right? So if I multiply this by S0, all right? Similarly, if I multiply this by S1, let me just do it here. So S1, B1, multiply this by S1 minus S2, S1, minus S2, B1, multiply this by S2, and then you want to subtract, so that goes away, divided by S1 squared, or maybe the other one, let me do S2, B2, minus S1, B1, if I do S2, B2, but to S2, B2 minus S1, B1, this becomes, that goes away, so it's going to get S2, S0 minus S1 squared. So that's your beta, alright? So I've got to program this, alright? I'm going to only look for, alright? I'm going to only look for columns to the left, alright? And I'm going to do one for the right. Alright, so let's do. Okay, do you guys see Narami? That's just two equations with two unknowns, alright? So let's go ahead and solve that. 